30 Minutes of Umoria, show 128. Hello. Welcome to 30 Minutes of Umoria. Yeah, let's get settled. Yeah, there you go. Let's go. This, the 128th show of 30 Minutes of Umoria, is brought to you by the lowercase letter P. The lowercase letter P represents 29 different creatures in Umoria, one of which is the Swordsman. The Swordsman is usually found at depths of 600 feet and moves at normal speed. It has an armor rating of 34 and a life rating of 11 die 8. It can open doors. It is warm-blooded and is susceptible to frost and fire. It takes a while to see intruders, which it may notice from 200 feet away. The swordsman may carry one or two objects or treasures. It can hit to attack with damage 3, die 5. The Swordsman Before we get started, let's check out the real source code. Hey, hey, let's look at the Umoria version 5.6 source code. Pick a random function here. Take off. Take off, eh? All right, let's have a look at take off. It is in Moria 1.c and it is 36 lines long. Take off. Remove item from equipment list. So you have your equipment list and you have your inventory. We're going to take off the item from the equipment list and put it in our inventory. That's the deal. So, ignoring the if defs as always. Um, okay. This is where we get the item out of inventory. Hmm. What's going on here? Where is it? Okay, we're passing in item val and the position. Apparently item val is the slot in our inventory. Position. I'm not sure what that is yet. So, if, uh, if it's our primary weapon or our secondary weapon, we say was wielding this. If it's a light source, we say light source was. Otherwise, it's some kind of armor, you know, on a ring or whatever, on a finger or whatever, it says was wearing. So, the position helps us figure out what letter to show in the printout. That's why the position is there. Makes sense. <clears throat> okay, uh, we still have a little bit of work to do. Uh, I guess the secondary weapon doesn't Im imply any bonuses on us, because if it's not the secondary weapon, then we calculate bonuses. Interesting. And then uh, in the in the slot we copy nothing. Hmm. So where does it go? Where do we what? <laughs> I'm confused. We take something off. It must not be putting it anywhere. It's just taking it out of the list. This is all. That's all this is doing. It's just taking it out. It doesn't put it anywhere. So let's see where it's called from. Sure enough. Uh, where are we? There we go. T for take off, I think. Hmm. I don't know. That's very confusing. I could have this function all wrong. <clears throat> Very, very confusing. It's over there in MISC 3. 
part of inventory drop. Interesting. Is, hmm. Well, what is this doing then? What's this block here? R or T. So I think that's takeoff. And so that means it should ask us what item to take off. I don't see that. So confused. Yeah, there's something more here I'm not actually getting. Hmm. Well, we'll have to leave it there. Takeoff is a little bit more complicated than I thought about how it interacts with other functions around it. All right, we'll have to leave it there. That's the takeoff function of Moria1.c in the Umoria sources. And that concludes the Wheel of Source Code. Okay. Here's your title screen, Umoria 5.6, copyright 1985, Robert Allen Kaniki. Is that how you say it? Koenik? Koenik? Your guess screws mine. So many different ways. Here's our character, Yashad. Yashad is a mage, and uh, level 37, not really thinking about level, th level 38. The experience is a little bit dwindled. The max experience is a little bit higher than the experience, but who cares, right? We are moving very fast because we have on two rings of speed. Two of them. And in our pack, we have a Slay Dragon Mace, which we use an awful lot. And we also have four potions of invulnerability. Four! And two runes of protection, which is very important because we're going to take on the Balrog real soon now. Real soon now. RSN. So, um... We're at 2150, this is our deepest depth, and we're trying to clear this level again. We have already found a potion of invulnerability at this depth on this clearing. So it would be really nice if we were to find another one as well. Really, really nice. So let's just try to do that. Now I'm going to kill this stone balrog the old-fashioned way. I'm not going to dissolve him because he can drop stuff. He didn't this time, but he could have. And that's what this is all about. It's about picking up the stuff. It's not, a, it's not about picking up uh, experience. You don't care about experience anymore. No, sir. Hey, we're in a room. All right. Taken care of, taking care of business at 2150. Now, the Balrog is at 2500. And we are finding the invaluable potions of invulnerability right here at 2150 and at 2100 as well. So, the idea is. Why, why risk more ancient green dragons and ancient multi-hue dragons than is necessary? Why risk it? When we can just kind of hover at this level, be careful of those same dragons, and, uh, and clear levels mostly, uh, most of the time. So that is what we're doing. On this level, I believe it's on this level, the top left corner there, the northwest, there's a green dragon and a bunch of stuff. And we can't touch that room at all because it's got the green dragon in it. Um, you might say, hey, you're pretty strong, you're level 37 mage, what's the problem? Well, green dragons can breathe for 666 hit points. Anyway, you know that now. So, um, let's just clear this level nice and easy. Maybe we'll find a potion in, in a hallway or something. Ah, scorpion tricky. 
too tricky. There's a wand of firebolts. No thanks. And that's it. There is a closed door down there, isn't there? What if we were just to do this a couple times? Yeah, that's just a hallway down there. No big deal. Or is it a big deal? Let's go check it out. It does help to clear these levels. Oh, it's a room. It's a special room at that. All right, nobody home though, nobody home. And that's the room below there is where we found the potion of invulnerability. Nice. Oh, I didn't even see this room here. That's because it's not a room at all. What is going on over here? And that's it. Okay, now we retreat to 2100 feet. And we try to clear the whole level and find another potion. I said before that we need five, at least five, to go after the bell rod. And uh, I mean it, you know, it's like uh, five might not be enough. At least five. All right. Let's leave that. Where are we now? We're in the bottom left. Very nice. That's right where we should start out. If you could pick, that's where I'd pick. One of the corners. Page flip, check for monsters. That's how that works. So we've been at this a long time. Uh, nearing 130 different shows. Which is what? 65 hours of Moria. Total. Moria gameplay. Uh, the first 32 shows were with uh, a character, elf, mage, female, woman, that's the word for elf, mage, woman, um, first 32 were with that and then she died, unfortunately. That means the next hundred were basically with Ishad here. So, um, that means we've had about 50 hours, 50 hours of gameplay to date. Now, I think that's a little fast, and the reason why it's a little fast is that we found uh, two rings of speed. So we, are, we probably descended a little bit faster than others would. But you know what? Uh, you know, level 37, level 36, that's the normal uh, experience level to win the game at. Because level 38 is just so hard to get to. See it? Do you see the capital D? You have to investigate this. Each and multi hue, now we back up. And we're going to be careful here, because if he appears in the doorway, we have to. Uh, Really have to leave. The ooze is there. Okay. And that is as far as we're gonna check that. All right. So 2,100 feet. Ancient multi-hue dragon. There's another one. What's in there? Oh. How do you find out? It's just so mean the way they do this. And that's how you do it. You blow the door off the thing and you check it out. 
Hopefully he'll stay asleep. Put on our Slay Dragon Mace. We're wielding that. Run up to him. Now I'm gonna just get rid of some of these. Is he awake? <laughs> Classic. Okay. Time to go to town, folks. Miss, miss, miss. Bunch of misses there. In the fireball. Okay, we still have four portions of invulnerability and two scrolls of runa protection. That's a book. That's a portion of charisma. We're maxed out on that. Hamlet of Searching. And then we have this chest. Potion of Intelligence. Darn it. Well, we tried. And we, we have another uh, dragon kill underneath our belts. Nothing on our radar up here. Just a wand of stone to mud. There is a dragon over here somewhere, correct? Yes. Young multi hue he can drop a lot of stuff. We're still wielding the uh, Slay Dragon. Wow, he really dropped stuff. Wand of White Lightning Bolts. Cure Blindness, we need that. A foil, an Executioner's Sword, and a Katana. Alright, let's go Executioner's Sword. Are you special? Nope, not special. Uh-oh, doors are bursting open. What is it? What's coming our way? A golem. That means they're awake down here or something. He must have respawned. Moving on. Uh, let's uh, just close off this area here. Our tracks here. All right, there was no way out of that room, was there? Yeah, there was. Ooh, a scroll. Is it a rune of protection? No. Another book. So, uh, we have found. Potions of invulnerability on two of the last three level clearings. Two of the last three, folks. So, why wouldn't we find one on this one, right? But other times we've gone at least five clearances without finding one. At least five clearances. So, let's uh, see what they can provide to us here. A lich. Is it an emperor lich? Just a king lich. We can take him on. That's all he dropped. Page flip, check for monsters, another dragon. 
rest up. Young legs. That was easy. Ring of Constitution, restore mana, we'll take that. Hard leather cap. I think we would like a, a of the Magi um, thing, like an amulet or a crown. No capital Bs. Oh, I don't like these hallways like this. Okay, we're in a room. With the frog, now dead. And we should clean up our tracks a bit here. Okay, going south. What was that? Wow, two capital B's down there, folks. In the same room. One of lightning balls is a decent thing. Oh, I wonder what's going on in that room over there. Very dangerous going toward it, folks. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. his friend. Ancient Green. Okay, we're gonna leave now. We're gonna leave. We don't want him to wake up. Oh, that's bad. Okay, they didn't wake up. Let's avoid that room, shall we? The red we can take on. The green can kill us instantly. Store intelligence. We're right above the room, but I don't think it connects. Oh, it does connect. I don't like that. Good, we're going away from it now. Scary stuff. Scary, scary. I have to say, I really like the rooms more than the hallways. Hallways, you just never know what's going to happen. The room, you can see around a little bit better. Room to maneuver. All right. How are we doing on this level? It's just about cleared. That's a poor leave right there. And we're awfully close to that space again. So we just reverse course and go the other way. Potion of weakness. Now a wand of haste monster. So we didn't really do a great job of cleaning out the whole level this time. It's a bit of a bummer. Bit of a bummer. There you go. Up or down, people. Up or down. Let's go down. Down to 2150 again. We'll try to clear. Last time we were here, we cleared and found uh, a you-know-what. 
explosion of invulnerability. Got a capital B not far away. Partial plate, this could be good. Isn't resistant. All right. Let's go this way. Kill the Zorn. Try to get a handle on this uh, ancient dragon down here. What kind is he? I want to sneak up on him, but I don't want to wake him up. Ancient Red. Yeah, I think we can manage him. Here's the plan. Just going to do this. Oops. This. And now he's on the run. He's running up here to get us. See? Here he comes. It's like we have a whistle, a dragon whistle. And they just come running. We're wielding the correct weapon. He's going to get in the doorway and hit him again with a cold ball. Perfect. Hope he doesn't actually destroy anything in our pack. There we go. So we have three chances at a Rune of Protection. Holy Prayer, Destruction, and Holy Prayer. Bring a Searching and some Pottery. What is he doing carrying Pottery? Riddle me that. So there's that chunk done. Now we have to make our way to a corner. But that room over there looks interesting. The room to our left. Here we go. I see a potion. Mature multi-hued is a serious threat. Two. He can breathe for a lot. It's just a matter of whether he does or not. Oof, he really dropped a lot of stuff there, didn't he? Halberd and a potion of weakness. A potion of resist heat. Which actually isn't bad. Um, you know what we forgot to use? Our enchant weapon to hit scroll. We bought that in the town. Ah, so we'll carry that potion. Um, and we'll drink them before we go to take on the Balrog. Because he's going to breathe fire, a lot of it. Every little advantage helps with the Balrog. Empty room. Now where do we go? Looks like we have to go back up into the center. Nobody home here. Whoa. Rotting quill thug. Sure red. Wisdom, Holy Chant, 
Rusty chain. Oh well, he tried. Yeah, this is how you get the stuff. You just gotta keep looking under all the rocks, you know? Opening up the chests, too. What is it? Ah, oh, it's wrong, right? El Crapo. That's what it is. Where's the good stuff? Where is the good stuff hiding? All right. So, um, so far, so bad. Oh. Well, there is a, we lost a perfectly good opportunity there. Nothing good here either, folks. Well, we'll try to make our way down to the lower left corner. Try to remember not to run. That is how you die in this game. Running into the darkness at 2150. It's a bad idea. Because you don't know how far you're going to run. A ring of intelligence and a potion of dexterity. Dag. Nabbit. Not the one we wanted. Ooh, look at that. All right. Why are we going this way? This was not the plan. This was not the plan at all. All right. Let's resume general plan over here. Where were we? It wasn't there either. It was left of this, wasn't it? All right, come on in, ghosty. Got him. Store life levels. Do we need it? We need it a little bit. Alright, we don't want to go there yet, I don't think. There we are. Here we are, here's the good stuff. Oh yeah. Iron Helm, is it special? No. What is it? Mushroom Light Cures. Darn it all. And on we go. What's that? Young multi hued he drops good stuff. He would have dropped more if he was in a, in a proper room. This is a strange level, like this, this back and forth business, this is weird. Ah.
All right. Well, we should be reaching the uh, five minutes left portion pretty soon. Been at this for a while. <clears throat> there you potion. Lose wisdom. K U P. The cup team up here. What are they guarding? Just a bunch of money. Just a bunch of money. And there it is, folks. The five minute left sound. Whoa. That was unnecessary, wasn't it? Totally unnecessary. Whoa. Back her up, boys. Turn on the lights and leave. That is scary. Scary. <laughs> it's strange how close you can come to dying in this game, and it's just like nothing happened. Another capital D. Ancient white. Sure black. Okay, we'll take care of this guy and then we're done. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Four fireballs. That's all we're going to get. Spell undead. Cure confusion. Rapier. So this guy should be pretty easy. Got him. Check out the shield. It's got a huge plus advantage. All right, we just wait for that uh, bloating to wear off, and then we will save. There we go. All right, so we're staying on this level. Uh, I'll say no. Let's uh, let us get to a, an upstair, shall we? And this is where we're going to leave it. Okay. We didn't get anything new this time, but uh, we're just doing what we got to do to get more potions of invulnerability. Hopefully we'll get some on this level next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.